Welcome, Diecast fans. I'm Tom Spanners Watson. And I'm Frank DeGuerry Gibbs. As always, not just with our channel, but any channel that we've featured tonight, if you enjoy their content, make sure to like it, leave a comment, and of course, if you like their channel, then remember to subscribe as well. It really helps. Now, there's a really cool review over on Redline Derby Racing for this Play Robotics Smart Race Track Kit. It looks really cool and a lot of good information hit over there. And while we're talking about reviews, check out Evo Sparks' video. There's a link in the description. Their review of this really cool two-story parking garage looks really cool. It certainly does. But that's enough of that. Let's crack into the racing. That's what they're here for. So drag racing. First up, we've got miniature car racing. Now, I know technically this isn't a strict drag track, but it's pretty close just with those lanes and then that straight finish. Now, my Hot Wheels collection, I love this one because they were racing some big rigs and those things were hustling. I mean, who knew those trucks were so quick? Now, Tune Tracks Racing are sort of in between tournaments. They're about to start a rally tournament, but they filled in with this Dodge versus Mercedes competition. It's always nice to have a short and sweet competition every now and then. Mr. Mom's Racing busted out a quick three car drag race based on some new cars, things that had just been released. And that white car there was quite surprising considering it's so boxy, it actually did pretty well overall. Then the Pro-Am series moved over to Blue Line Racing for some straight up drag racing. After the carnage of round two, there was some awesome races. As always, Blue Line Racing put on some top notch drag race action. Then Main Street Races were doing just a head to head battle this time. So previously they've been doing a lot of multi-car tournaments, but this one is just straight up head to head, which makes a nice change of pace. And they weren't the only ones this week to switch from multi-car to head to head. Hot Wheels Calgary. Lots more daily racing action over there. So again, if you like straight drag racing, check that out. And of course, Summers Raceway did a huge big head-to-head -head battle this time. So this is another crowd that were doing multi-car races, but they went back to just doing head-to-head -head drag races. All right, time for a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Release your inner Frank with this classic Give It The Beans t-shirt, available from chaoscanyonmerch.online. As we crack into tournaments, we're going to start off with Live Young Diecast and the DIRS. That's right, they are already halfway through the competition at their track. It's been awesome so far, lots of great action, and the racing was so much fun. So the competition is almost over. This is now the sixth track of the eight. From Live Young Diecast, it moves on to Flat Rabbit Racing, and then finally comes down to the canyon. So it'll be with us sort of end of August, start of September. Flat Rabbit starting in about three weeks time. But have a look at Live Young Diecast. And of course, if you haven't seen the others, make sure to check them out. There's links in the description. Now Monster Motorsport, we're doing the Race of the Rising Sun and he's also gone to a head to head competition for something a bit different, which was a lot of fun. And I love this race here, just really tight racing action. So I guess with the head to head stuff, you don't get quite as much carnage and chaos because there's less cars on the track. Unless it's at the canyon. He's also running a poll on YouTube so check that out, just whether you want to see head-to-head -head or multi-car racing. 3D Botmaker started a Japanese nostalgic car tournament. Now the cars are beautiful and they're all custom. Not necessarily built custom for racing like you'd normally see on his track, but they are stunning. He was just doing qualifying this time round, so he's been getting a lot of requests for qualifying races. So this is just straight up time trials, single car running down. He will be getting into the full tournament, I believe next week. So make sure you check that one out. As always with 3D, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now over at Clutch Mountain and We Race Diecast, he was doing a Supra versus Impreza competition. So two of each identical cars racing for points in a teams battle. And this race here was one of the early ones and it was quite exciting. See this Supra at the back here comes through with a beautiful overtake as that Subi goes wide and just leaves the door open for him. Now we're over to Cleveland City Diecast and I've just loved the 64 Ford tournament. It's been so much fun and there's so much great action here. <laughs> you just see like cars spinning out last minute, cars making great last minute overtakes. Just epic stuff, nicely done. Indiana Diecast are into the quarterfinals now of the Sock Hop Slam. So he's got a couple of extra cars coming back, but I'll check this race out. This was absolutely epic. So the red car there, nice overtake here. Then you see the yellow and white car flips over and he drives around it just superbly. It was just such a brilliant bit of driving. Gets down, takes the win. Wow, that was really impressive. Can we see that again in slow-mo? Yeah, here you go, mate. Look at this. 
So almost goes off the track, realises the car's in his way, ducks around the inside, goes high on that corner and takes the win. Maze Mountain Motor Speedway had more of the Nissan Summer Series and this has just been such an epic tournament, but check this one out. So the white car, huge lead, and then just blows it right at the end, has happened so many times. Car's not quite with the right angle or the right speed as they cross the finish line. Red car takes the win. Now over at the Amigos, their hardest nails tournament carried on. And in this race, again, a lot of interesting action. This car in the front spins around, but check this out. They missed the big collision there, but he trims the bushes on the way through. And then that Viper comes through and just manages to avoid some of the stuff that was blowing onto the track. Next Gen Diecast Racing is into the next round now of the Piston Cup. So the first Piston Cup was very successful. The channel's absolutely taken off. And so he's carrying on with a new series. If you enjoyed the first one or you're looking for some good clean racing action, make sure you check them out. Diecast Dragger had his most wanted tournament. So this is two cars versus a cop car. And again, this was a great race here. So you see the Dodge Wagon in the back here, left behind, but then powers through the cop car, then comes down against this Datsun Wagon, goes up the inside with a beautiful overtake, and then races down to take the win. Well, that is just awesome. Now, Rick's Diecast Racing. So we featured him in tracks by a couple of weeks back and he's into his tournament now so he's got a more permanent space to set up and i quite enjoy this track i like that little figure eight down the end there into street racing we're going to start off with canyon outlaws there's so much action this week but we wanted to feature this one between mother kanaka in the inside lane there and then philip the tank and nancy wilson just a beautiful overtake by nancy wilson there goes up the inside super clean takes the win over at Hot Car Track, Road Warriors. This was pretty much the last round of Road Warriors for this season, but check this race out. So you've got the silver Audi out in front, the bug coming in behind. Both cars actually do a 180 there, but then the bug gets around the outside and takes the win. And of course, Knox is competitive to Rover. Now, EP videos, I love this track. I love how dark it is and the quality of these videos. And those three black Hondas all have lighting in them, which I thought was really cool and they were doing a race where you got points for overtaking the black cars and then points for where you finished on the track as well. Really good fun and just beautiful production values over there. Can't be beat. Commotion Diecast with the Death Valley Showdown. Now you don't often see a bus in street racing and there's generally a reason for that and that's it there. They tend to be quite top heavy and flip over. So this dude just basically ran unopposed for most of the race. M&M Diecast Racing, love this track, and this race here was great. These two battled, like swapping paint, swapping position all the way down to the finish. Really good stuff. Into special events, and we're going to kick off with the Canyon here. So it was time for the stadium track, and the Group N and Group A put on a heck of a show, but this race here between Arlo and the pink, orange and white car versus rubber toe and the pink and white as they cross that finish line, it was insanely close. So you check it out here as they come up. It's so hard to tell, we actually had to go to a freeze frame to find out who won it because it's so close. And check this, it's rubber toe in the outside lane there by just a fraction of a second. Then top driver, love this race here. So you got the Porsche out in front, does a flip onto his side, then the other guy comes, the Scirocco I think it is, comes around, knocks him back on his wheels and the dude takes off and takes the win. How cheeky is that? <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, Gravity Throttle Racing, another high quality race set up from these guys. So three cars racing on the track, gets pretty tight in some of these corners, but check this dude out in the front here, comes in, does a handbrake turn, reverses down through the track, the others are chasing hard, they go into the egg beater section, and what a place to turn around, and he manages to do it without flipping over, and then followed up by the other two cars. Wow, that was impressive. Now Sonora Diecast Racing went into the finals of their Fast and Furious, and I like this one. Look how all the cars just slip around the outside of Robin, but absolutely nailed Batman. <laughs> Classic Sonora. Now DRC did their relay, so this is the first time we've seen a relay on a diorama track but of course Big Poppy has done the relay in the Diecast Olympics a couple of times now but still nice to see something a bit different and 
interesting use of the track. Yeah, and that is such a cool track. I really like how that's all laid out and how it's themed. It looks fantastic. Then Beaverworks had another Stone Road challenge and this one here, I just like it because this guy gets it all kinds of wrong. He looks really sweet most of the way down and he gets to the logs and rolls it. So he's almost at the end. You'll see it on another angle here. So look at that, it looks really controlled as he's going down, no problem at all. And he just rolls up on the side and boom, rolls it. 3D Botmaker had the final of his rally. And this has been a really interesting series. Dylan there showing off in the credits with the big jump, but he just wasn't able to get it together in this final. So Dylan was definitely the crowd favorite going in. Bobby Johnson had an excellent set of races, but <laughs> you see there, Big Air Dylan, that was kind of how his whole night went. He just kept losing it last minute. Now Flat Rabbit threw out a very special mini Monster Mash video. So this is another brand new track that they've just set up for this. And I really like it. It's relatively simple, but quite challenging all the same. And of course, fantastic production values as you'd always expect from Flat Rabbit Racing. Lots of fun and expect to see more of those races. Now tracks by tonight, we've got quite a few. We're gonna start with Diecast Dude Racing. He's running a rally on his track and it's quite interesting. So it's quite a long track, mixture of lanes and fat track, but I just love this huge jump at the end. Wow, that is massive. Check out that ear. Yeah, it was well impressive, mate. Next up is DDR, which stands for Digital Diecast Racing. It's a relatively short track, but don't let that fool you. It's still entertaining to watch. Have a look at that track and check it out. Now we move over to Extreme Diecast Racing, and this is pretty extreme. These truck and trailer units go through a triple loop to the finish. Wow, that's awesome. I can't believe those things made it around those loops, especially that tight one. I know, it must have been close, but uh, still entertaining to watch and it actually reminded me a lot of one of our other tracks coming up in tracks by ghost jerker it's out of die cast i like his tournament board here that's really cool you know stack all the cars on and then as they win they physically progress along and this is a quite a cool track it's lane the whole way but i like that he's got these little crossover areas so some of them are under over crossovers and then others are just straight across track crossovers so there's potential there for lots of accidents and lots of excitement now Gwingoyo put out another teaser video their track is almost ready for racing and it is looking fantastic i love this sort of sunset early evening theme they've gone for it looks really cool yeah that looks awesome so we mentioned this one before this is ghost jerker these guys are probably got the biggest following of any diecast channel and that includes 3d bot maker these guys are something like 600,000 subscribers they've been doing it a long time and they have got such a huge range of videos so these guys don't do diorama tracks this particular one they were doing this awesome demolition derby uh, in this video is about a month old but they've done monster trucks they've done underwater racing they've done loops special tracks you name it they've probably done it have a look at ghost jerker there's lots of good stuff on their channel and then the final track spy tonight is Junkyard Joust. Wow, that looks crazy. It's quite a simple setup. So it's a single lane track, but it's about knocking other drivers off the track, smashing them over onto their side, where they finish on or off the track, whether they finish on their wheels or on their side, things like that. So a lot of fun. And you know, just some crazy action with some of these guys getting huge hits. Oh yeah, that, that looks awesome. I like that. And I like the whole junkyard theme as well, with all the stacked up cars in the background and stuff. All right, replays of the week. First up is this absolute craziness from Benford and the Canyon Outlaws. Look at that, he slides halfway down the track on his side. We thought the race was over, and he comes through, nails the side of the track. And of course, a couple of spectators. Yeah, totally, look at this. Nails that dude in the face. Everybody else jumps back out of the way, luckily for them and he crossed the finish line for the win. And then we had this one, Cat Pirate, trying to take out our cameraman. I mean, taking an AMC javelin to the face is never pleasant, but props to the cameraman. He held onto it, got the shot, and that's what counts. And this last one from the canyon was this drift by Big Booty out in front there. Just a huge, big sideways drift and gets it under control. 
Now back to Top Driver. This one here was crazy. See, we already saw the Porsche pull off a tricky one, but he did a barrel roll mid-track, then overtakes the dude as well and takes the win. As we go back for the replay, look at this. So he pulls a barrel roll on track and then comes around here, sees where the Scirocco is and just beautifully times that pass, even going through the rough track. Now, speaking of rough track, we're back at Beaverworks for this Stone Road Challenge. We saw the other truck roll over, but look at this dude. He was nowhere near as controlled on the way down. He's bouncing all over the place. Look at that. But he managed to keep it together and cross the line. I just love that track. It's so much fun to watch. Yeah, man, that dude is bouncing wildly. And he gets a huge big bounce right about here. Look <laughs> I can't believe that truck stayed upright. That is just fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Now, back to Flat Rabbit. So, we said this course is challenging, and you see Gravedigger the roll over in the background, but check this out. He kept rolling, then rolls back onto his wheels and crosses the finish line. It was absolutely crazy. And then finally, this one here from 3D Ballmaker in their final. That overtake by Bobby Johnson there was just spectacular. Dylan left the door open for him, and then they come down here and Dylan gives Bobby a tap as he goes across the finish line and just gives Bobby the biggest ear of the night. Look at this. He clears all of the markers there. It goes out of the side of the camera. Yeah, that is definitely some impressive air right there. Remember to head over to redlinederby.com to enter your own races or to find a race to send a car to. Lots of other information on customising. Whatever you're looking for, it's over there. Well, that's enough from us tonight. We really look forward to seeing you at the rally on Monday. It's the Chaos Canyon Road Track, so make sure you're here. All right, thanks very much for watching. I'm Tom Spanners-Watson. He's Frank the Guru Gibbs. We'll see you next time.